Hi, my friends. Welcome to this presentation today. I thank God for the opportunity he has given me for the knowledge, for the skill, for the understanding, and for the life which he has given me. Uh, today, I want to see uh, uh, how we can become effective uh, kings and the priest as God has called us. God has chosen us so that you may dominate, so that you may have dominion, so that you may govern, so that you may rule, so that we may become uh, that which uh, he created us to be. So I want to see some of the skills which we can acquire so that we can be effective in the kingdom of God and in our society. The Bible says that uh, when the axe is dull, much strength is needed. But when the axe is sharp, you use less Escape, less effort. Actually, somebody gave this example that if you are to cut a tree, it is important to take more days to sharpen the tool which you are going to use uh, so that when you go now to cut the tree, you use less effort. So today we are living in a world whereby people are not embracing the skills. Uh, God has given you some uh, gifts and some ta talent but in order for you, for them to be effective, you need to sharpen your skill and your gift. You need to do what is called refining your gift so that you can be an effective person to do that which God created you to do. So it is critical for you to take time to refine your gift. In the scripture, the Bible says in the book of Revelation, bless Jesus Christ has made us, both the priest and the kings. The priest represent God. So you are a representation of God here on earth, wherever you are. Whether you are a dad or whether you are a mom, whether you are a student, whether you are a minister of the word of God, whether, whether you are a business person, you are a priest in any place, whether you are in that particular office, whether you are a politician, whether you are a pastor, any title which you could be having, remember that you are a representation of God. You are the priest in the kingdom of God. You represent God. Everything that you do should represent God. At the same time, you are a king. Now, kings are the people who have knowledge uh, and, and the understanding. They are the people who have the skill. They know how to govern. They know how to rule. They know how to control. They know how to have, uh, uh, they, they know how to be in charge of their kingdom. So, in important, so that is why now this channel exists. Uh, so that it can give you the truth concerning the word of God and concerning that which God wants you to be. Now, I'm going to share with us the skills which you can acquire without necessarily even uh, having to get a lot of uh, capital to invest. And when you acquire these skills, uh, they are going to make you to become valuable, to become effective, actually even to be in charge of, the, of this life which God has given us. It is God's will that God's people be in total charge of the world. We are the ones who should be in control of that which God has given us. And remember success comes as a result of you now uh, serving your gift to the world. Actually somebody said if you want to succeed, to, to succeed do not pursue success but seek to be a person of value. You can only become a person of value when you have skills. For instance a number of us, we have smartphones, or all of us, we have smartphones. In the case of a smartphone develops uh, some mechanical problem, or, uh, what, what do you do? You run to the person who has the skills. Why do you run to the person who has the skills? Because that person has developed himself or herself. So even you, that it, even you, if you get some skills in your life, it means people will be coming to you for solutions. We actually, when we stop pursuing money and we start pursuing purpose and we start becoming that which God created us to be, then we are going to be now in charge of this society. We are going to be in charge of the whole world. So uh, today, what I want, I want to do, I want to lay the foundation of some of the skills which are very, very, very important for us to have uh, in, in, in 21st century and, and in the year 2023 going Moving forward. Now, uh, I want to read the scripture here, even before we jump to, to the sharing, uh, in the book of First Peter chapter 2, verses 9, which says, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, 
a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful uh, light. Now, darkness in the Bible stands for ignorance. And God has called us now into light. Jesus is the light of the world. Light has to do with knowledge. It is in Christ where now we get knowledge of the truth and we are set free. When we are outside Christ Jesus, we are ignorant. We are in the darkness. And Satan is the devil of ignorance. My prayer to us is that none of us will be ignorant. So God, initially we are in the darkness, but God has now called us from darkness and he has brought out us into the light, meaning that he has brought us to the knowledge, the knowledge of the truth, which set us free from the captivity of the enemy, from the errors of the enemy, from the disappointment, from the failures, from the fear of the unknown. And now we come to the light. So even as we continue, understand that you are chosen. It is very important that you know God has chosen you. By his own divine power, he has chosen you. And after choosing you, he has made you unique. You are a peculiar nation. You are a peculiar. You are unique to God. God values you. Why? Because you have the image of the Lord. You have the image of God. And because of the image of the, God, of the Lord which you bear, God is much concerned concerning you than anything else on the, on the earth. Number three, that you are a royal priesthood. You are a royal priesthood. That is why I began talking about God has made us to be kings. And the royal priesthood, these are the, these are the kingdoms which are independent. So God is a king. He has a kingdom which was lost. And this kingdom was, was restored through Christ Jesus. So you belong to a kingdom of God. And now you are a royal priesthood. Your lineage is that of royalty. And the, and the royalties, the subject, the people who are in the royalty, these are the people who have the skills, who have understanding, who know what to do at a given time. These are the people who offer solutions. The people in the kingdom, they are not the beggars. They are the people who provide the answers. They are the people who provide the solution. So I'm sharing to you so that you can know how you will become the solution, the answer to your generation which God has given you. And number four, uh, that you are a holy nation. So you are chosen, uh, you, are a, you, you are a royal priesthood, you are a, royal, a royalty, and you are a holy nation. And God has brought you from darkness, he has brought you into light. That is very, very important as you continue with this sharing. Now, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 24 says, You see a man skilled in his work. Or in other ones, or in other person, they say that diligent ants will rule. Diligent ants have to do with the ants which are skilled, the ants which are industrious, the ants which know how how to how to do how a certain work or a certain activity should be uh, done. So also, proverb tells us that do you see a man skilled in his work? This man will not eat before of secure men or of the men of no character, but they will eat before before the kings. So, scale is very very important, and and scale, and God created you with with, 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 your, with specific scale. But in order for that scale of yours to be effective, it must be refined. It must be refined. So, I'm going to share with us a uh, twelve of areas which are very, very important and very, very, very critical in 21st century. And uh, in 2023, moving forward, some of the skills which you can acquire, of course, you cannot acquire all of them, but I have categorized them into 12 main categories. Uh, today, what I'm going to do, I will mention all of them, the 12 of all of them categories and the subcategories of the skills that you can acquire easily without necessarily going to university or a college. You can acquire either through learning from other people who already have the skill. Let me inform you that everything that you need on this life, God has already given it to somebody. Any skill which you need, there is somebody who already knows that thing. All what you need to do it is to be humble enough to be willing to accept uh, that you don't know and, and, and you need to know. 
So these skills are indispensable, they are paramount, they are very, very, very necessary because that is what society needs. And when we, we acquire them, as the kings, we are going to control, we are going to influence our world as the people of the kingdom of God. These skills are very important, you cannot miss to, 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 to miss them. So, uh, uh, number one, in the design industry, uh, we have the following uh, skills. The scale of dressmaking, the scale of tailoring, the scale of embroidery, the scale of interior design, the scale of, of event decoration, the scale of beadwork, the scale of designing and printing, uh, something like uh, the t-shirt ETC. So I'm going to explain that in subsequent uh, videos. That is, those are some of the skills which you can acquire in design uh, and the fashion industry. Now, in beauty industry, there is the scale of air dressing. Uh, there is the scale of manic cure. There is the, the scale of pedic uh, cure. The, the, uh, the, there is the scale of physiotherapy. The scale of basantic. The, the scale of jewelry. Uh, the scale of fitness, whereby you can become a fitness instructor. You can acquire these skills easily. So those are some of the skills which are there in the beauty uh, industry today. When we come to the world of computing, you can acquire the following skills. You can get what is called computer packaging. These are the basic computer knowledge which you can acquire, like, uh, like typing the word MS, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft uh, Access, PowerPoint, Publication, uh, Web Design, all, all that. Those, those are what falls and what is called a, a basic computer skills, which are very, very, very useful today. Then, video taking scale, video editing scale, we have graphic design, we have even programming, internet, and we have uh, web design. Those are some of the skills which you can acquire in the computing industry. So, uh, so number one, we have looked at the design industry. Number two, we have mentioned the beauty industry. Number three, the computing industry. And number four, when we go to the world of electronics, this has got so many areas which you can become influential if you have skill in them, like uh, body repair, a guitar repair, computer repair, TV repair, radio repair, generator repair, power regulators repair, UFA repair, device readers repair, kettle repair, loudspeakers, water re repair, uh, kids toys repair. All these are electronics. And the beauty is that uh, if you know how to how to address one of them, for, for instance, if, if you have the knowledge of repairing uh, TV, for instance, the devices which are made, which are made in other electronics, they are the same. So the knowledge which you acquire, for instance, in the repairing force, it is transferable to other electronics. That is the beauty of electronics. Actually, of all the skills, electronics is the is the easiest. Uh, since you, if you know how to operate one, then the the others becomes very easy. You transfer the knowledge. That is very important. And these are the skills which you can acquire very easily from within where you are. If you have the interest in the area of electronics, there is a, there is a thousand and one opportunities for you to serve the world with, with, with your gift if you're interested in that field of electronics. Uh, another field, that is number four. Uh, so number one, we have said with the beauty industry, the, de that, the design industry, the computing industry, the electronic industry. We also have the motor industry motor industry uh, today in the world we have so many motor vehicles all over so many um, um, bicycles so many uh, motorbikes that tells you that there are so many opportunities which require you to have skills what is called as on a uh, scale and if you have these skills in these areas you will be able to become effective citizen of the kingdom of god in that field because when you have the scale when you have the knowledge on how, then you are you are the one who is in charge. People will come to you. People will come to find solution from you. And as they come uh, to find solution from you, as you offer the services, the services to them, then you will be 
the light of them. You will be controlling the world. You will be dominating. That is what God requires of his citizens who are here. So that the kingdom of God can come in every sector of our life. And these skills are very, very easy. You don't need any academic qualification to have them. Because all the time, let's say, for instance, if you have a car and you take your car to the mechanic, there is no time when you bother to ask that mechanic whether they have form, they have form 4 certificate or whether they have a, a, a graduate degree or a diploma or a certificate. You are not interested. Your interest is to see that your motor vehicle has been fixed. Similarly, in the case... Uh, in case you are bike, if you are if you are, you have a bike and it is not functional, and there is somebody who has the skill, you don't go to ask them to show you their qualification. Uh, it is the skill they have. So similarly, that tells you that if you acquire these skills, people will come to you, not because they like you, but because of the gift which you have that you will draw them to you. Actually, the gift of a person is the one which opens the door to them. So in this industry. The motor industry, there are so many opportunities. You can get skills on mechanics, you can get skills on car motor on cars, um, motorbikes, bicycles. There are, there are opportunities in wiring, there are opportunities in welding, there are opportunities in driving, there are opportunities in washing. Uh, all those are opportunities. We shall be venturing on them into details. Uh, now, the next one, that is number five area. We are building and construction. Now, today, many people are constructing everywhere in the world. There is a lot of construction. That tells you that if you acquire these skills, uh, then you are going to be very, 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 very influential in the world of building and construction. And these skills, uh, oh, you can acquire them very easily through learning from those you already know. You don't have to go to the college or university to acquire these skills. Actually, when you go to a construction site, and you tell them you have a scale, they don't ask you for a certificate. All they ask is that they give you the, the equipment and then they give you the worker to do. What does that tell you? It, it tells you that if you have the scale, then that scale will open doors for you. And in, in building and the construction, we have got the following skills. We have the skills of bachelors, the skills of carpentry, the skills of plumbing, the skills of electricity wiring, the skills of Welding, the scale in landscaping. All those are the areas which you can think of at the venture. We are going to I'm going to explain for you what each of them entails and what is needed for you to acquire them so that you can become effective citizen of the kingdom of God. Uh, then the next area, it is the area of what is called mass media. Mass media today, it is a very, very important sector. And the people of the kingdom of God need to be in the mass media. So that now we can be the people who are controlling what we are feeding on. In the mass media, the following skills are very, very important. The scale of photography, the scale of video taking, the scale of video editing, the scale of what is called DJ Joker or what is called DJ, the scale of uh, master of ceremony or what is commonly known as MC, the scale of writing script. All these are very, very important skills which the children of the kingdom of God should acquire so that they can be influential in these areas. So, so far we have looked at the design industry, the beauty industry, the computing industry, the electronic industry, the water uh, industry, and we have looked at the building and the construction industry. And in number seven, we have looked at mass media industry. Number eight, we have what is called music industry. In the music industry, there are so many, many, many skills which you can acquire if you are interested in, in, in music. If God has given you that talent, if God has given you uh, that gift. Number one in the music is that you can have, you can acquire a skill in playing instrument. There are so many in musical instruments which exist there. And if you refine your gift on music, even if it is only one uh, instrument, then you are going to influence, you are going to control, you are going to dominate the world of music with the gift which God has given you. And that is what God is looking for. You can also trade vocals. There are people who are controlling the world through their vocals by practice, by refining their gift. So we, we have the instrument, we have the vocals, uh, we have writings. There are so many opportunities in the writings. Uh, you, can, you can simply write the songs and then there are other people who have vocals. 
who know how to play the instrument and the Euro, the Euro sing. The Euro have the vocals, the Euro play the, the instrument. Your work can only be writing if God has give, gifted you in writing. So what you need it is to refine that scale of writing. It is very, very, very important. Then we have comedy industry. Comedy industry, we can have godly comedy industry. The comedy which are meant to draw uh, people to God, not dances. As all that is needed, it is for you to refine your gift of comedy, which God has given you, and you are going to be the king in the world of uh, in this world of music. You can also have what is called modeling. You can model in a godly way, and the people will and you will be controlling the world of modeling. Then you can also have what is called public speech speaking. You can refine your gift of speaking by practicing every day, and then you are going to become very, 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 very influential in the world of music. So that is number eight area. And number nine, uh, whereby you can, uh, it is what is called catering area. Now, because of the population increase in the world today, uh, people, of course, they, they require food all over. So if you refine the scale of cooking in a certain meal of your interest, then you can be known by that in the whole world. If you if you are interested in cooking, and you master a certain area, not even cooking all type of meals, even a single meal of your choice and that you love, you, you master so well, then you see yourself now dominating the world, becoming the king, the ruler in that field, being known for that. And because now you have God in you, people will come to know going through that scale which you acquire. In catering industry, we have something that like baking or what is called a pasta. This has to do with the cakes. People have so many events celebrating. Uh, and now, if you refine your gift of pastry or of baking, uh, people can know, you can be known for that. And if you are known for that, you will be glorifying God and you will be serving the world with that gift of baking and pastry. Other area which you need scale there, it is uh, what is called outside catering and housekeeping, among many others. So there are so many uh, opportunities in the catering industry. If you only open your eyes and see the head which God is calling you. I, yeah. Number nine. Number nine category, which I'm breaking down for us, it is the category of business. Now, in business, in business, all what you need to, to do is to learn from the people who are already in, the, in business. Don't just wake up uh, today and tomorrow you start doing business. It will backfire. You will be frustrated. You need to learn. You need, you need to get skills. Uh, you need to, to observe. Oh, now, in business, these are the, the areas whereby you need to get skills so that when you begin the business, uh, your, your business, God is going to bless it and it is going to grow. After you are brained and now God has directed you in the area which you want you to carry on business, that is not in, in, enough. You need knowledge. You need the understanding. You need wisdom. And you need to get skills concerning um, business. Something like record keeping. Know how records are kept in business. It is very, very important. It's something like... Uh, like attending skills, how do you attend to customers? Uh, you cannot really afford not to know how to attend to customers if you are, if you are, if you are uh, interested in doing um, business. Being patient, customers will come of all nature. Some of them will come who are very impatient, who don't want to listen, and, and, and you need to attend to them because now they, they require your service. You need to get that skill of being patient with people. Uh, and that skill it is not anybody, it is learned. Then source, where do people, where do business people get their, their items? You need to learn from them. You need to, to, to inquire from them when you get the knowledge, the source of their item. Very, very important. Then we have something like, uh, like uh, the legal requirement. Some businesses require some uh, requirement from the government. You need to know what kind of business and what are the legal requirements before you begin it. Because if you begin a business without meeting the legal requirement, then it will backfire since uh, the government of the day may close down your, your, your business. Also, you can be even jailed. So that is where you need to get the knowledge uh, concerning legal requirement. Then know how are the items displayed in your business. Maybe you have just been seeing people doing business and, uh, and you think just things that are put for the sake of them. Learn from them. Why are items in, in, in business, in, the, in this category of business, uh, displayed in a certain way? What is the purpose? It is important for you to learn. Then the pricing and the bargaining power. These are the skills which you need to learn and because they are very, very important. Uh, another area is 
the area number 10 now, the area of agriculture. In the area of agriculture, there are so many opportunities because currently in the world today, we have, in, today here, what I mean today, this 21st century, the year 2023. There are people in the world, as I'm speaking, uh, in January, they are 8 billion. Imagine 8 billion. All these people eat billions every day. All of them are eating food. So that tells you that in the world of agriculture, there is a lot of opportunities provided you get the skills for you. Of course, this area is not for everyone. Uh, as other areas are not for everyone. It depends on the area which God is calling you and which you are interested in. In agriculture, there are so many kind of, of agricultural things which you can learn. Uh, uh, but, uh, but at the end of the day, you can decide to choose to sell uh, I mean, to concentrate on one of them. Onions farming. Get the skills on how you can farm. You can farm onions. Get the skills on how you can grow tomatoes. Get skills on how you can grow skumawik, spinach, pili pili, uh, local greens, sweet potatoes, pineapples, bananas, maize, and um, beans. Dairy farming, uh, cassava, yams, cabbages, sugarcane, among many others. All these are categories of food which people eat every day. Chicken rearing, rabbit rearing. All these uh, young people uh, who are eating every day. And these are the opportunities which God wants us to be in charge so that you can control our world. And finally, uh, there is what is called free freelancer. Uh, these, these are the online writings whereby there are so many opportunities in terms of content creation, in terms of uh, writing, in terms of of solving the problems for the people online, among many others. So today, I have we have looked at some of the skills which we can acquire and become kings in the in the area of our influence. And we have looked at the following categories: what is called freelancer. We have looked at agriculture. We have looked at uh, what is called uh, uh, outside, uh, what is called catering, that is number three. And number four, we have looked at business. Uh, number five, we have looked at the music industry. Number six, we have looked at mass media. And number seven, we have looked at building and construction. Number eight, we have looked at motor industry. Number nine, we have looked at electronics. And number 10, we have looked at computing and ICT. Number 10, we have looked at beauty industry. And number number 11, we have looked at design, design, uh, fashion and design industry. Now, what I'm going to do in the, in the subsequent presentation, I'm going to give you some of the tips of each of these areas. I can get also views from you, other areas which you think you can get skills as the, as, as the people who are chosen by God, who are a royal priesthood, who are going to be holy, who were once in darkness, but now we are in the light, and God wants us to be in charge. So God bless you and keep you as you refine your gift and as you get scale, so that now your gift can make you be seated with the kings. And it is your gift which will open the door for you. May you refine your gift. May you pray God also to make you understand that he loves you, he cares for you, he is with you, and he has called you that you may dominate, that you may govern, that you may rule, that you may be in charge, that you may be in control of the area which God has called you to control. In the name of Jesus, remember to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss a single video which I upload for us every day by grace of God. So may the Lord be with you and may the Lord keep you as you represent him in every sector which he is calling you to represent him. Remember, you are the light of the world, you are the salt of the world, and your gift will open door for you to glorify God and to honor God. When the axe is done, more effort is needed. But when the axe is sharp, less effort is needed. Did it. Uh, I do. Bye bye. See you in the next presentation.